sorry about that hey guys how are you guys doing apple bottom g's here thanks for coming back to my channel thanks for clicking on this video and today guys i want to show you guys this new thing that i picked up were these um leds um i don't know if you guys see the name there but that's the brand some types um this was actually my brother's he got it from walmart they're about 50 bucks and then he used them and basically what happened the adhesives on the backing kind of just they suck they peeled off so um he just like had them in his trunk for a while and then um he gave them to me and i picked them up so um these are used and they're not in the best condition but i'm still gonna do a video on it so i had to cover my car yes my car is very dirty like, look at that look at this it's very dirty because it's winter time um no excuse but hey that's me um so I just got done like unraveling all the cords and at the moment only three of the LEDs work and I can't find the last one of this so I'm just gonna do my side um, the passenger side and then for the last one I might do like under here or I might just do like I don't know like behind right here and you see all that Taco Bell stuff down here I don't know something like that but they get controlled by like an app and so I have to download the app and stuff and uh, there's one down there and then uh, there's one down there but they're on like different patterns right now because I just I just came in my car to plug them in because they work by um, this little car charger thingy so uh, and this has a button and they go off when you press the button and then they turn back on so pretty simple this will go into my uh, compartment here probably have to make some space so I got some uh, chargers in there so uh, I guess uh, I'll go install them because I bought some cheap um, 3m tape I got this actually from wish.com if you don't know wishes um, it's like a, a place where they ship from like China and stuff like that and um, I got this it took like um, a couple weeks to come but we're gonna see how strong it is. It's clear 3M tape, um, adhesive tape, and I'll just be using that, the tape under here and stuff, and uh, yeah. So uh, I'll be back in a moment. So I just removed everything out of my um, my box here, and uh, this is where the cable is gonna be. And on here, if you guys can see, it has an on and off switch. So my car is not running, but for some reason, this port here, this um, charging like it has power like even when the car is off so there's that and um i th thought i was gonna put this little housing where it's like the on and off button in there but i think i'm just gonna put it right here next to the um seat belt thingy so I i'm thinking about putting it right here easy access and i checked i sat in my seat and i don't touch this area at all so um it shouldn't be that bad um, and I never really like reclined my seat up that high. So I'm thinking about putting it right there because um, this to get all these cords to stick in here is not the easiest thing. It would have to be like that. I guess that's not bad. Just put it like that. Maybe maybe I'll put it like that. Um, but um, for the Mitsubishi, it has like this little like bezel thing right here. So that fits pretty good, but only fits one cord. So that's why I was going to just put one cord in there. And there's no other ones on here. So, um, yeah, just consider that before you buy some LEDs. Like, the mounting process is not the easiest. But um, I'm no expert. It's my first time. But, uh, so yeah, I just went ahead and I put fresh 3M tape on here. Um, it seems to be okay. Um, I was feeling it up. So I'm just going to peel this off and I'm going to stick this somewhere. And then I'll get to the actual LEDs at the, um, where the feet are. Alright, so, um, I think I'm gonna actually put this housing inside my, uh, glove box here. I was just checking to make sure that it actually closed, like, under some of the, um, with the wires there. So make sure you, uh, do that as well. Alright, so I have my area where I'm gonna stick this, um, control housing. Um, with 3M tape, you wanna make sure that you clean the area with... Um, alcohol or like water or something like that so I just went ahead and I cleaned the area and then obviously um, to get the best adhesive you want to kind of heat this stuff up 
So um, I use a blow dryer or you can use like a, a blow gun or something like that. But I don't have that. So I, I just use like a, a blow dryer. And um, you can disconnect everything else and just position it where you want it. And uh, if you get this 3M tape from Wish, like I said, um, this, it's kind of a pain to peel off. So just get like an X-Acto knife. Like I use my little X-Acto knife to get under it and I peeled it off. And um, it worked pretty fine. So I'm just going to go ahead and stick it on here. I'm thinking about just like right about here and I just put three strips on the back and um, just push it on a little bit and there we go that's our uh, LED housing next to our on and off switch there and this is uh, that's like the power on and off actual power and then this is just like on and off like if you're taking a little like long road trip and you just want to turn them off real quick you can just press that little button and uh yeah so uh, i'm actually very impressed with this uh 3m tape which you guys are here like i'm jiggling this joint and it's not moving at all like i said guys i got this from wish and it was like literally like a dollar and then like a dollar shipping so two dollars and um you know you can there's like different lengths and um thicknesses um i didn't have like a measurement like uh ruler or something like that the actual measure at the time I was actually I actually bought it in my car like on the go so uh I I wasn't expecting it to be this um width but I mean like it's fine for what you're doing um I just wanted to tell you guys that I do recommend this Wish um 3M tape and this is the clear All right guys so that extra cord that I have um I had an idea to get um like just wind it up with some zip ties but I went in my trunk and I didn't realize I used all my zip ties and um so I didn't have zip ties, so I just used a little piece of 3M tape, and I just kind of wrapped it around. And this is just a temporary fix, um, just so, you know, I can get some more area just for my other stuff to go back in. I was going to wrap it around, but the cord is just too long. So I'll just keep it like that, and then when I get some zip ties, I will um, fix it up better. And uh, basically, I just put it together like that with the 3M tape, and then I just tucked it into the corner behind that. And, uh, yeah. Alright, so now I'm going to start on my first LED strip. Um, you want to kind of disconnect this from all the other cords. And then, um, obviously I'm going to have to put fresh new 3M tape on here. Because this is the old one. And, honestly, when my brother first got this out of the package, like I said, he bought it from, um, Walmart for, like, 50 bucks. This 3M tape sucked. So, um, just to give you guys a heads up. Um, don't mind the trash. Free Whopper, there you go. Um, so you want to make sure you find a nice flat area. And um, Mitsubishi, um, if you go like all the way back, there's like a flat, I'm not, I don't think I can show it down there. There's like a flat area all the way back there, like right here. So I'm going to use that. I'm not sure what it is, but that's what I'm going to use. And um, yeah, so I'm going to wipe this whole area down. And I'm going to wipe this down because I don't know why it looks like that. Look at all these scratches and stuff. Um, the interior of my car is not the best, by the way. But, um, so, yeah, I'm gonna, um, wipe it down with some alcohol, clean it up, try to clean it up real nice, and then, uh, I'm gonna stick my first one on. And you wanna make sure that you stick this, the pin side, um, like, that way, because that's where the cord is gonna run through here, like so. Alright, so with these 3M tapes, I was actually trying to take off the old 3M tape that already came um like installed on these but it was like so hard to get off and so i just left it on and i just put one whole strip of the new 3m tape on that so um i'm not even sure if like if you can get the old ones off but i just left them on shouldn't be a problem and then i'll just peel this off and i'll stick them on all right so i just peeled off the 3m tape and i connected this side just so i can get um you know just so I know where to place it. And on these, you want to make sure the arrow, this arrow, is the same where this arrow is. Because that's that's how you know which um, like side it needs to be. And uh, yeah, I'm going to um, stick this on. And once again, make sure you use like an X-Acto knife to get under the backing. Because it's really hard to get under the backing. And uh, yeah. So I just got the first strip in. I don't know if you guys can see, but there it is. And then I just had to use like a little extra 3M tape under here. Nobody's really going to see it, so I don't 
really care that that's sticking out. But that's the basic idea. So you got that. And now what you got to do is get this cord to stick to this wall. And I've seen videos where people actually open this drone up and put it in there. But I'm not that savvy. You know, this is my first car that I'm modding. So I'm just going to use some 3M tape and just stick it to here and then make it back to the control center. So this side is finished and the lights work. Um, it's um, the daytime, so it doesn't really, you know, I'm going to have to come back later and show you guys about the lights and how they look. And, um, yeah. All right, so this is the lights in the daytime. Um, don't mind the trash, but <laughs> there they are. <laughs> I just wanted to show you guys, so I'll show you um, at the end of this video how it looks in the nighttime as well. So no need to worry. Gosh, isn't it great when you clear out your glove box? Like, I found money. I found my power bank. Found my Pokeball wallet found my iPhone, my old one, my GPS, like, look at all this crap, all this stuff. It's so good to clean out your car. For the driver's side, remember over there, there was like a lip down there, and that's what I put it on? Yeah, we don't have that on the driver's side. So, the driver's side, the lowest I can go is to right here. You can't really see it, sorry about that. But this is the lowest I can go, right here, so... There's like a lip there, and then that's the clearance, so I'm going to put it right there in the middle. We'll try to get it right there. And then uh, I'll repeat the same thing on this side as I did on the other side. Wow, and I just touched it, so now I'm going to have to clean this again. Ah, okay. Alright, so I just went ahead and 3M taped this one up. And I went, and I actually did a little bit more on this one. I got where the connection meets, and then a little bit on the cord. Just so we don't get that same little droop effect right there as that one. Because, you know, this one is more most important that you get no droop because obviously this is where your pedals are and stuff like that. So you want to make sure that your cords aren't drooping. So, uh, yeah, I'll peel this off and I'll stick it on. Alright guys, so I actually ran into a little problem. Um, I went to go stick the strip, and for some reason, it would not stick there. I don't know, so I just went ahead, and I cleaned it again with um, alcohol, and I wiped it off real good. And then I took off the old 3M tape, and I put on some fresh new one. And then I actually doubled it. I don't know if you guys can see, but there's um two strips on here. And uh, hopefully that will help, and that will um, get it on. And uh, yeah, I'll try it. Yay, guys. I actually got it to stick. So I guess under here where your driver's side is, it's really dirty. So you want to make sure you clean it up really good and uh, make sure that it's very dried. And this is the one with the double strip on here. So, um, um, yeah, and um, I, don't know, I was telling you guys before, I wanted it between this bezel and then the edge. So I actually got it there. It's kind of in the middle. So um, this side you will actually, like if you look down, you'll see it. But that side you won't. But, um... That's only because there's nothing else, you know, that you can put it on past there. It's just like, yeah. So, um, I got that stick, so now I'm just going to work on the side here, and uh, we'll be golden. Alright guys, so I'm back. Um, I just went ahead and I sticked this side onto the wall. Um, yeah. I didn't want this side to droop at all, so I used like bigger, longer pieces. Because, you know, this is the driver's side. And you can see it more, so... Um, yeah, there's that. And so, I just finished up with that. You know, everything sticks very well. This 3M tape from Wish is very good. Um, so yeah, um, that's basically it. Um, I think for now, I'm just gonna do the driver's side and the passenger like I showed you guys. Um, stock usually. And then, uh, you can get the 3M tape from Wish.com. Um, like I said, about $2 ship. Or you can, like, go somewhere else. But, um, yeah, guys, I will, um, do an update of how they look at night, and, um, as of right now, I mean, like, I, I, I'm, I'm not worried about them, they look pretty good, and, uh, yeah. Alright, so this is how they look in the daytime, and like I said at the beginning, guys, these, um, there's an app which controls these, you actually control these on your phone, it doesn't come with a remote 
or anything so that's why they this one is like strobe and this one is just like pulsing <laughs> because i actually haven't downloaded the app this is my brother's presets because like i said i got this from my brother so this is whatever he had before he gave it to me and um i'm gonna have to download the app find it ask him what it is and then i'm gonna have to put in my own presets which will probably be green as you guys know my interior is all green and stuff like that so this is the app it's called um, Touring Items Type. If you go ahead into the App Store and just put that in, you'll get it. Um, I'm not sure about iPhone, but for my Samsung, it was just easy as that. Um, so you have four icons here. Um, as you guys know, my hub is the first one. It's a smart LED hub. So you just press that, and then you get your um, setup. So I went ahead and I was kind of playing around with this. Um, so with these supposedly the led strips are numbered and you're supposed to put them where the numbers are but um if you didn't you can just hit this and like hold it and just move and then you can move them to wherever they are so that's what i had to do and then um, as you guys know three and four i don't have in my car so i just set them to green whatever and then on one and two is like the two front ones as you guys know and I kind of just have them on cycle, but there's a whole bunch of different stuff that you can like glow, blink, whatever you want. And then there's like, um, well, that's it. different colors you can choose. Like the white is really nice if you're trying to like find stuff. Like I was cleaning out my car and it was just so nice. So yeah, and like just different presets. Like I have one that's called fun. So I just wanted to show you guys. Welcome back. How are you guys doing? Um, so it's nighttime now, as you can see, and we're in the Lancer and I'm about to turn on the lights. And three, two, one, bam! Here we go. I preset them to green. I got the um the app info from my brother for yourself. Um, by no means is this like a install or how to video. I just wanted to keep you guys updated on on the mods that I'm doing to my Lancer, and I just want to thank you guys for watching. Um, I know some parts must have been rough, you know, because I'm I have to do it by holding my phone camera. And uh, stuff like that. So yeah, guys, um, these are my new LED lights. I have them in the front. And uh, you barely see, like, the cords at the sides. Everybody's just going to be focused on the LEDs. So don't worry about that. Um, if you are worried, then just take your dash out and put it in your dash. Um, so yeah, guys, this is it. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, please give it a thumbs up and possibly subscribe. If you didn't, comment down below and maybe I can uh, fix it in the next video. Um, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.